It is easy to get caught up in the daily grind of life, to become complacent and stagnant in our personal and professional endeavors. But as Jim Rohn famously said, motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. It is up to each and every one of us to find the motivation to be the best version of ourselves, to do more and be more and to not let fear hold us back. But what motivates us? It is often our why, our purpose, or reason for doing something that drives us to greatness. James Clear writes, your why is the purpose, cause, or belief that inspires you to do things you do. When you know your why, it becomes easier to make choices that are consistent with your values and beliefs. It is essential to have a clear understanding of our why as it helps us to stay focused and motivated in the face of challenges and obstacles. So how do we find our why? It is often a process of self-discovery, of evaluating our values and goals and determining what truly matters to us. As Teddy Roosevelt said, far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much because they live in the gray twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. It is better to strive for greatness and risk failure than to play it safe and achieve mediocrity. But achieving greatness requires hard work and perseverance. As Walter Payton said, sweetness is the most important thing in life. Success is the sweetest thing. If you win, it's bonus. But it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is to be able to look at yourself in the mirror. It's not about the accolades or the accomplishments, but about being true to ourselves and living up to our full potential. This can be easier said than done as fear often holds us back from taking risks and pursuing our dreams. But as JFK said, we must not fear fear. We must confront our fears and conquer them. It is important to recognize and acknowledge our fears, but not let them control us. Instead, we must push ourselves out of our comfort zone and face our fears head on. But it's not just about personal growth and success. As General Lejeune said, the ultimate victory in competition is derived from the inner satisfaction of knowing that you have done your best and that you have gotten the most out of what you had to give. It is not about beating others, but about striving to be our best and giving our all in everything we do. So let us all be inspired and motivated to be the best version of ourselves, to do more and be more, and to not let fear hold us back. Let us find our way and use it to guide us on the path to greatness. Let us embrace the challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth and improvement. Let us give our all in everything we do and find satisfaction in knowing we have done our best.